Welcome back, trainers. So as you may know, we are going to be getting a live-action Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu, featuring Ryan Reynolds as the voice actor of Pikachu. So it's going to be pretty funny. Yes, Deadpool, Pikachu. And as Pokemon Go players, we're going to be able to have nice new features in the game alongside this. So this is all going to be starting tomorrow. We're going to be going over all the details here. So I'm just pulling some images for you if you have yet to see any of the trailers. So we have some of the Pokemon that are going to be featured in the movie are going to be commonly spawning in Pokemon Go for us now, as well as new raids and avatar items. And then you'll also be able to see Detective Pikachu with that hat in a photo bomb if you're lucky. So you all know how that works, right? You take a picture and then they appear there for you. So we do know that Mewtwo is going to be in this movie. So does that mean that we're going to be seeing a return of Mewtwo? Don't get too hyped. But we're going to be going over that here in just a moment as well as talking about Mewtwo Strikes Back because that's another movie that is going to be coming out. And I do believe we're going to be seeing big things coming into Pokemon Go regarding that and Armored Mewtwo. Yes, Armored Mewtwo hasn't faded away. It wasn't clickbait. It's actually probably going to be happening. So you've seen the Charizard. We probably will be getting that coming back as a raid. We already have Machamp as a raid currently, so it's probably going to be Snorlax featured as well. And then you have these lovely... Pikachu detective hat deals in the shirt as well. Not a big fan of it, but hey, maybe you are. And we're also going to be able to see a new shiny coming into the game for Pokemon Go. That is going to be shiny Apom. And uh, bright pink there. Probably going to be a field research. Uh, possibly in the wild as well. Hopefully increased spawns. Maybe we'll see how that works out. And if you're wondering where is your source, well, I will put links in the description as well as on the side of the video here. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at some official announcements from Pokemon Go themselves, or should I say Niantic. Uncover the mystery of Pokemon Go with Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Okay, so this is all going down tomorrow, May 7th, Tuesday at 1 p.m. And it's going to be lasting until May 17th at 1 p.m. PDT. All right, so it's a nice little event there. Features, select Pokemon featured in the movie will appear in raids. All right, so, hmm, like we've seen like, the Mewtwo. But I'm saying, I don't know if that's really going to be in there. Charizard, possibly. Snorlax, maybe, making a return as well. We'll just have to see what else they drop in there. Pokemon that appear in the movie will show up frequently in the wild. So, Apom. So, this, that's going to be the shiny. So, I'm assuming it's going to be out in the wild. Possibly in an increased rate as well. And then you also have Snubble, which is also a shiny. So, this may be your opportunity to get yourself a shiny one of those right now. And then they go on to say, if you're lucky, you could get photobombed by a Pikachu in a detective hat. So... There is that, and if you don't know how that works, you take an AR shot, and maybe it will pop up on the screen, kind of like the Schmeargle, and as simple as that, and then you'll have to just catch it afterwards, it'll appear on the map, and there you go. Uh, double XP for catching Pokemon, field research, special themed field research will be available for a limited time during this event. Themed avatar items will be available in the shop, so everything we just went over there. So there you go, we have the confirmation. Now, I knew this was coming in. I just didn't want to make a video until we heard an official announcement. And here we go. <laughs> the Detective Pikachu shirt. Pretty neat. The hat. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, there you go for that event. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Mewtwo Strikes Back regarding Armored Mewtwo. Now, yet again, another Pokemon movie set to be released soon. And that is going to be Mewtwo Strikes Back. It's going to be a remake of the original uh, that they made back in the day. And it was a great movie. I actually went to the movie theaters when that came out. So, yep, I'm pretty old, right? So, and then they showed this image here of Mewtwo in its armor. And it looks absolutely insane. I mean, just look at it. Compared to the other armored Mewtwo, this one's on steroids. It looks like Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. So, expect possibly Mewtwo coming into Pokemon Go with this armor. Because there's other hints that data miners did find within the game uh, regarding wording armor and then Mewtwo. So that is a great possibility. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so we're over here on Trails' Twitter. He is a data miner for Pokemon Go, retrieving information before it is actually released. So we see here Mewtwo A equals 133, Mewtwo intro equals 134, and Mewtwo normal 135. So we possibly may see Mewtwo coming into Pokemon Go around this time of the release for that second movie regarding armored Mewtwo's. Because, well, they like to coincide with these movies in Pokemon Go as a promotion, as well as rewarding us with in-game items, as well as new Pokemon, or at least new Shinies. So this is going to be something exciting to look forward to. How do I think Mewtwo armor is going to work? Well, maybe it's going to increase its defense, lower its attack, 
and just make it more of a bulky Pokemon. It might just increase everything, all of its stats altogether. Um, it's really hard to tell at this point. I could continue to guess and guess, but as it is right now, I'm going to say it's, there's a probably about an 89% chance we're going to see some sort of Mewtwo coming into Pokemon Go regarding some sort of new form. Now, does this mean we're going to be getting Megas? Mega Evolutions? I don't think so. That's, this movie has nothing to do with Mega Evolutions. And I think it's a little too early for that. Uh, they still need to get into more generations before those are going to be released. But you never know because we did see the Alolan form Pokemon coming into Pokemon Go at a very early stage and that was kind of you know threw people off and we're thinking to ourselves okay they're releasing the alolan form pokemon what is stopping them from releasing other you know things that were coming out in further generations so something to take note of it's not too far-fetched so many people are getting so upset when i made that movie saying it's you know you're clickbaiting this and that but i'm not i'm really just looking at you know what's happening here putting the dots together i mean why would it say Mewtwo A, Mewtwo A intro and all those different forms there. So we can only hope. But as far as Mega Evolutions, don't think that's what it's going to be. That would be amazing, but I just think it's going to be a little early on for that. This is probably going to be more regarding the armor. Okay, so since we're on the subject of Mewtwo, let's go ahead and take a look at it because it just may be coming into raids, possibly for Detective Pikachu. And if not, then, then definitely maybe for the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. So let's go ahead and talk about this. It's going to be a pure psychic type. Mewtwo is absolutely fantastic for many different things because of the new moves that it did receive a little bit ago. And it does have a great legacy Shadow Ball move. Maybe we might be able to see that coming in for players who were not around when the Mewtwo was here before. So max CP, 4,178. Attack, 300. That's very, very good. We're going to take a look at all those moves. Defense, 182. And stamina, 214. So as a pure psychic type, it is going to be weak to bug, dark, and ghost. Resisting, fighting, and psychic. Now, if it did come back into the raids, 100% IV is going to be 2387. And then if you have windy weather, weather boosted, 100% is going to be 2984. So regular, 2387. Weather boosted, 2984. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at its moves, it's it's a big move pool. It's a very big one. So for Legacy, we have Hyper Beam and Shadow Ball. I do personally have a full team of Shadow Ball Mewtwo's powered up, and they work fantastic. I'm telling you what. All right, so look at this. So we have Psycho Cut and Confusion for the quick move. Psycho Cut, as we know, will gain you more energy, uh, but it has a lower attack. So you will be able to fire off your charge moves at a faster rate than Confusion. But don't let Confusion fool you because that is going to be doing a lot of damage as well as a decent amount of energy gain with that new recent buff that it did receive. Now for the charge moves, we do have Focus Blast, Psychic, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, and Ice Beam. So Mewtwo will be working fantastic as a Ice Attacker, Fire, or an Electric Attacker as well. As far as Focus Blast, there's going to be better options to use as fighting types as well as better options for these other elemental types as well. Uh, but if you do have one of these powered up and ready to go, it will be putting in work against whatever is weak to whatever those types are there. Uh, so just take note of that. There, like I said, though, there will be other types that will be able to outperform it for whatever class it is, uh, but it's still going to be nice. And if you're trying to TM it, good luck and don't waste too many TMs because as you can see, the move pool is so vast that you just might bounce back between two and just waste all your TMs before you get what you actually want. So good luck on that. Uh, Mewtwo coming into Pokemon Go. Let's go ahead and look at the stats one more time here. So if it was to receive armor, which stat do I think will go up and which one will go down? Or maybe all of them will go up. Possibly the attack will drop to maybe roughly around 280 and defense will rise to about 250, maybe 220, something like that. And stamina will also go up to maybe around 235. Uh, these are just random numbers. I am just pulling out of thin air. I uh, just tried to... Connect the dots here as to if you were to receive armor, what would go up, right? And here is my beautiful Mewtwo collection. Now, what if we were able to actually uh, acquire some sort of item that will allow us to put this armor on the Mewtwo? Not likely. Uh, that would be the first time we would see anything like that in Pokemon Go. That would be absolutely fantastic if we can equip it and unequip it. That would be, wow, insane. So possibly if you needed a little bit more defense on your Mewtwo and not so much attack, then you can go ahead and throw on that armor, but this is probably 
not going to happen. More than likely, we're just simply going to see a new Mewtwo introduced and you catch it and you have that one and you simply don't have it. Simple as that. Not going to be able to switch on armor and take off armor for your Mewtwo. Um, although that would be fantastic, but we can always hope and wish, right? So here we go. Just the Shadow Balls like crazy. And once again, do not try to TM it to get Shadow Ball because it will not happen. It is going to be a legacy so if you can get your hands on one of those from a friend who possibly has extra ones that they don't mind handing up, trading for something that they want that you have, then I recommend that you do it because this thing is absolutely fantastic. And it is also going to be a great ice attacker as well, although we do have things that are going to be outclassing it now. But you never know, whatever ice attacker you are using may be weak going up against that raid boss because it does have a specific move that's strong against you. But Mewtwo just may be able to take normal damage from it so that's why it's going to be pulling up pretty nice in certain circumstances so there you go i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and i will be catching you all next time take care